guys, I'm today I'm here at uh, Studlin Bay and it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. It's the first time I've been down here this time of morning to be honest. Normally come during the day and it's busy with walkers, doggy walkers, and in the summer it's packed <coughs> with families enjoying the beach. But um yeah, just a couple of little things about the bay. It's owned by the National Trust. So um so it's well looked after. And it's also the, the finish of the Southwest Walk. So when you've done your 600 miles or whatever it is, you get around to the Sandbanks Ferry and, um, and you've done it. So, so that's pretty good. Also, you've got Harry's Rocks just over there. And it's also quite famous for when they were practicing for D-Day. I'll probably go over there in a minute, but there's a, a structure where Winston Churchill um, looked out on over the bay while they were practicing the D-Day landings. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to probably grab a coffee just to warm up a bit because it's pretty cold. Actually, in fact, the wind here, is, oh, there's no wind at all at the minute. It's lovely and calm. When I left home, it was pretty windy. So... Uh, so that's pretty good. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm kind of waffling on a bit. So we'll have a coffee, set up the camera from the first shot and um, see what we can get. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay guys, well I've got my first composition here and I've had to wander around a bit because I'm having to battle with the sun and the sky and all that kind of thing. But what I've done is I've changed me, as you can see here, I've changed me camera picture style thing to monochrome because that's what I'm thinking of here black and white at least this way it kind of gives you some idea of what it can look like so I've got all this what I'm looking at here yeah so that's my first composition as you can see you got these um, they call them dragon's teeth and what they were they were uh, massive concrete blocks to stop things like tanks and vehicles getting up should we get invaded from the, the, the coastline and yes yeah, so, so I've had to wander around a bit and managed to kind of uh, get it so you can see the the call them dragon's teeth shall we going down and then also the other ones kind of going up just up here see so um yeah setting wise I'm on have a look, 140 for a second, FA, ISO 100, and I'm shooting at about 14 mil. And what that's doing, that's just allowing me to get that, that kind of like the slope of the um, of the concrete blocks there. So yeah, it's the first shot of the day, hopefully it'll come out okay, and, uh, and then we'll wander off and, and see what else we can get. Okay guys, I've got my next composition. This is the, the lookout um, post I was telling you about where Winston Churchill and um, the king at the time, I can't remember, you have to forgive me, I can't remember if it was the fifth or the sixth, I think it's King George the sixth, came to look at the practicing for the um, D-Day landings. The problem I've got, I'm trying to get the sort of the angle here going down. I've got this fence in the way and no matter how I try I can't get rid of it so I could try and perhaps get rid of it in post but if not I'll just have to put up with it but uh, yeah I suppose it's probably about I don't know 20 30 meters long and it's obviously designed to take a bomb because it's so thick you know I don't know what would crack that but yeah but it's also got very narrow look out things so I guess that's you know in case any attack come in it protects them and all that kind of thing or make it more difficult to shoot through I don't know anyways um yeah it's a really interesting structure right on the beach here and it's an ideal position you can see right over the bay which is obviously ideal if you if you look at it and practicing and when, that, when they're practicing they um I believe they, they use those tanks with the, the kind of um, the thing built around them so they could, when they come off the boat, 
there's like a little propeller to propel them onto the beach. Uh, I don't know how successful they were or not, but um, that's one of, one of the places where they practice them. And I think in actual fact a couple of them sank in the bay here. Um, whether they've hooked them out or not, I don't know. So if not, they'll still be in there somewhere. But yeah, I'm going to crack on, get a couple of shots here and then um, move on somewhere else. Okay guys, well I've come inside now into the actual lookout thing. It's pretty awesome actually. And um, funny enough, we're um, talking about watching practicing for D-Day. They're actually practicing out there now. I think it's probably the Marines. I've just seen a helicopter fly over, there's a couple of boats out there. So yeah, it just shows you that they still use it. And um, yeah, funny enough, we were down here on the beach one day and Hercules, was well, I for Hercules then, I don't know what they're called, you know, where they jump out the back of the aeroplane. Yeah, parachute the boat down from the plane and the parachute is jumped out afterwards. So there's always something going on down here, sort of training-wise. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a really awesome structure. I'm not sure I'm going to get on photography wise but I'll give it a go but yeah I'm just kind of bringing I suppose a different side to Stadlin Bay because everybody thinks it is but yeah, it's famous for the beach there's actually a nudist beach over there if you're into that um, ideal for families because it's nice and shallow plenty of places to have a good play around the sea um, obviously walking but it's, yeah, it's more the probably more of the historic side of things today, so yeah, just showing you a different side of Studlin Bay. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to set the camera up and, uh, and see what I can get. I've seen one shot just to my left there, there's a little um, hole in the wall which is letting some light through, it's causing this kind of like a diagonal <coughs> shadow, so with, with the concrete in front of it, that looks um, quite interesting, so I'm going to just set up and see if I can capture that. I'm not sure I'm going to have to bracket because it's pretty dark here. But anyway, enough said, let's crack on. Okay guys, the next image I've got, I'm looking right down the slot here, so it's kind of like coming at an angle to a point. Again, this, all these are going to be black and white, and you're getting lots of contrast with the shadows and the highlights. And uh, the other thing, Winston Churchill, I think, was a pretty big guy. I think he struggled to get in here, because I mean, I'm not particularly that big, but it's quite narrow getting round there, so anyway, he's obviously managed it. So, yes, yeah, so that's the shot, right down the lookout thing, down to a point. Lots of black and white and greys, so yeah, it's a pretty good shot. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it here now, I'm going to head back home. So again, I've had a wonderful time, got some good photos, but hopefully, been outside in the fresh air, enjoying something you love, love doing. So anyways, um, from Harry's Rock in the background there, and the Marines training over there somewhere, I'm going to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.